Welcome back to the Drug Aware Margaret River Pro. We're here for the third round today. Heat six hitting the lineup with the world champion for 2016 going up against Jacob Wilcox, who has been hungry for this matchup. He wants to take on the best at his home break. He's going to get that opportunity here because John Florence will be well suited to these big, clean walls. Um, him at Holly Eva. And this could be like some pretty wild, big Holly Eva, you know, in, in what he does. But look at that. Oh, my. Just huge arc with the rail grab. That was sick. And here goes Jacob Wilcox in response. So 5.33 for John Florence on his first wave. Jacob on the back end now. Just trying to get as many points as possible out of this wave. Put something up that can rival John's opening ride. He's just elected to commit to this wave on the inside, but it gets a little ugly there. And he takes a fall. But the quality of that single manoeuvre from here, he was knocked out by Kyle Belly here in this same round. So he'll be aware of that. He is a former winner here at Margaret's. And he's up again on a medium-sized ride, but gets a couple of opportunities to swing that board oh, into some huge turns, but he just gets flat <laughs> on the Clapped? inside section, oh, the, like a just, fly between two hands there. <laughs> Those are two steamrollers coming in and just, blah, just vaporized. Multiplies the turn by just opening up. Let's take a look here, you know, this wave choice is pretty minimal. You know, he's taking a small inside wave, but look at he has to lift the performance side of it. Again, just, this angle kind of takes away almost from what he did there. But look at that. Just look. It's so interesting comparing the two. John Florence looks like even in waves this size, Pete, he's still dictating terms to the power of the ocean. He's still overpowering yes. these huge waves. Whereas Jacob Wilcox, even just looking at his first ride, he looked like he's kind of surviving the wave. And Watch this turn. This is unbelievable. Look where he's grabbing his rail, rail, too. And that's part of that grab rail technique. You got to grab back on the rail and so you think oh i'm gonna grab the front rail near your front foot but really to do that turn properly you grab back by your back toes and just it, it just i, I want to the word is like you square it i don't know when you multiply having that hometown support because even though john is a massive star everywhere he goes this kid is really well liked by the local community and here he is throwing everything he's got at that first section. Jacob's really aware that he has to throw high risk turns. He has to do some of the best surfing that he's ever produced against this man in this third round exchange. Here goes John again. Big full rail carve. Picking off some medium sized waves, but really applying some pressure to the teenager. You know, we went by the Preble shop on the way out of here the other day and there was a bunch of kids sitting outside the store and they were talking exactly about that the community support that which jacob carries they all loved him saying how cool he was all the time that he can give to the kids i mean to me that's so important it, re it really truly is to see you know to be genuine and uh you know support everyone in the community good job jacob definitely well we've got bronte mccauley He's the only surfer on the uh, championship tour from WA at the moment, but Jacob Wilcox Cox would have to be their hottest prospect as we see John Florence on How's the replay. Two-turn combo, just big open carves, and he can stand up, like, and he gets, like, uh, he goes into his turn. He, it's so much different than, say, like a, a Julian, right, where Julian's so compressed, and even Connor in that last heat. John, John will compress and open up, and that's so much more difficult to do and stay balanced, you know? But look at how he extends himself completely, arms, everything. He's all the way open, and then he whips himself and compresses through it. And so he's got such a broader range of standing up and compressing that that makes those turns look that much bigger. Again, opening all the way up, you know, almost the hips, everything straightening out and then compressing. And again, to have that much range of movement is such a significant difference. You know, it's it's so much easier to stay on your feet when you're compressed. Here goes Jacob Wilcox, a good looking wave. So selection on point here and a decent first turn. This is a bigger wave. And if he can get a finish, he'll get himself back in this heat. 
And there is a nice snap on the inside there. Really whipped his board through that turn. 18 minutes to go. There's only certain people who can do those big airs. We'll get the replay. We'll come back to that point. So here he is. This is that what he needs to utilize is that vertical approach. That's going to be very helpful. It's a point of difference that he's going to be able to utilize on that back end. You know, just right here, he, he, he just wasted a bit of time. You know, I know he was trying to time this final section, of course, getting all the way to that section so that he didn't have to deal with the whitewash converging. Because say a big grab rail carve, and how many people on the championship tour can act actually execute a move like this on a way this big? You see that early grab too, but look at the technique. I mean, it's impeccable. You know, and there he gets, I mean, it's so easy to look funky, right? And he never looked funky at that. I mean, grabbing your rail, you could look like a stink bug going into that turn. But you see how he was able to stay back on the on his haunches and, and grabbing on the very back half of that board. And he's compressed on the back. Turns only half as good as that going into the excellent range. For me, that was and just And so you're, 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 are you insinuating that, whoa, someone just got barrel? Jacob Wilcox, local knowledge coming into play, finding some cover on the left-hander and an exit. John Florence, meanwhile, went right. Not sure what kind of damage he did on the outside, but he got a strong finish. Well, you can tell there's that support for Jacob Wilcox. Is it going to fit? There you go. Take a look. He's right underneath it. That was great technique from Jacob. And then John. Oh, again, that big open carve. And where he places these turns, too, especially that first one. And so much speed, right? Doesn't he have a lot of speed when he's doing those turns? This is the technique I was talking about. He literally takes off under the hood and pulls directly in. Not easy to do, but really, only thing happening there was uh, the quick barrel in and out. Not going to be a huge score. Pretty healthy looking numbers against the current world champion who is regarded as the best surfer in waves just like this. Here goes Jacob once again. So he's got to up the ante. And he's going to throw a, a move there. High risk turn. Almost lost it. So he needs a huge finish here to break combination. Solid. And gets out in front of that white water. So a tidy completion. Was that his best wave? Well, looking at his While we were focused on Jacob's ride out the back, John uh -oh. Florence found this. Oh, jeez. Just packs it. It's exactly what they do on the North Shore. You grow up. And this is like big poopa camp. Right in front of John's house where he grew up. Let's take a look at the replay here of Wilcox. And now maybe I'll be, my mind will be changed. But I mean, right here, you know, he didn't have that nice clean bottom turn to top turn combo. He kind of had to stop the, the bottom turn and kind of run down the line and then go back again. So it's almost a two stage thing, but he actually gets the final move, which was solid. And you can see how he compresses to his board. He gets super low so he can withstand all that white water trying to take him down. Confidence, but again, I think that comes from growing up in Hawaii, as everyone's alluded to. Here it goes, Jacob Wilcox on the left. He's going to get out of this one. Thank you, Barton, for that information. A 6-2, that's incredible. No, I know that and there's something that goes on there, too, that, that Ross kind of does as well, is what John can do is actually put in a template of a bigger fin with a stiffer flex. Here we go. John Florence now fighting some barrel time. And he's not done on this wave. So a clean entry, so good at taking off under the lip, and wow. what a way to finish. So trying to get rid of an 8.5 to put it again out of reach for Jacob Wilcox. Jacob's last wave, or previous rider, I should say, came through at an 8.17, so wow. he got out of combination. He did. Yeah, I didn't and, think uh, it was going to go that high. So. He was looking for a 9.9, .9, but that might change. Yeah, I, I think <laughs> yeah, that may change. And that allows him to ride a little bit shorter board and still feel positive. And see, right in there, takes off mid-face and just tucks right in. A cut back. This is a lot of variety. And then look, this turn here, again, wide open and pulls it off before the wave shuts down on him. He escapes. Another great ride for John Florence. Look at this, his technique. You know, just that mid-face drop, tucks right in. We haven't seen many barrels, so that shows how difficult it is, especially out here at main break. So nice work for John. Something that people uh, don't often refer to with John is just how athletic he is. He's been working really hard, doing some pretty unique training, and it takes a lot of strength to deal 
with the kind of pressure and speed that that comes in waves of this size he just really unloads all that speed with a great amount of power and just finesses his board through these turns it's only a 6-2 you, you see that turn there that was similar to what we saw from connor but john actually was able to get that fore front arm or back arm all the way through the maneuver and then there a different technique different angle puts the arm over the top of the head you know sometimes it's coming across the waist sometimes it's coming across the head so there's that point of difference you know, when you pull it across the waist, that's a lot more G's for sure. Like you're pushing harder on that. When it's over your head, you're kind of... Jordy Smith up against Jesse Mendez. And the way Jordy's been surfing lately, he might throw some nines at us as well. Here goes John once again, <laughs> putting everything to that move, losing his back foot oh somehow, getting back on his board. Hey, he was on his butt. He didn't even use his hands. He literally hopped up off his glutes a little bit, but, oh man, this kid is a freak. So he loses it, again, just using all the speed he possibly can. Look at the section he does this on. Back foot comes off, he's on his tush. He somehow looks like he got both hands there, but how does he do that? That's the agility. And that, you know, that athletic build and just, uh, you know. Kid Pilegro, you've been uh, getting this kid on fire. That's the kind of moves he was doing on the mat, <laughs> except for he's doing it on a 6-2 surf fork. <laughs> 2.4, but here it is again in real time, and we talked about how he uses that speed. Look how fast he goes through this turn. <laughs> See how fast he got back on his surfboard. <laughs> oh, goodness, look at that. There's not a lot of humans on this globe that can that can do those types of turns. Well, the show goes on, and with a minute and a half to go, John Florence now just playing with this wave at size. Not an easy thing to do. We've seen a lot of competitors struggle with these end sections throughout the day, but this has just been one of the most dominant performances ever here at Margaret River. It just says a lot to speak to, to Jacob's demeanor and, and his confidence that, that he has. He wanted and relished in it. You know, he'd been probably a, asleep last night or right before and going this is this is the time well that's fun that's the performance of the year so far john florence putting together a heat score total of 19.27 in some really solid conditions here at margaret river